Welcome, I'm GLG and you're welcome for this new video. Today we will speaking about new mini computer. Because last time I tried the Geekom Air 12 Lite and I say it's the best mini PC under 200 euro. But they write me, <laughs> you write me. Yeah, but no, of course not. We found more cheap. It's totally the same more cheap. So <laughs> I check in internet. Yes, it's the same configuration, same CPU. Same RAM, same SSD, but 30 euro cheaper. So maybe it's the best deal we can find in internet. And I uh, forgot to, to tell you about this one. Or maybe, uh, maybe C production picture is good, but C in video is better. Upgrade yourself and discover all my review. Today, I will speaking about these two mini PCs, the Geekom Air 12 Lite. For me, the best mini computer under 200 euro. And this challenger, this one is 179 euro. This one, 149 euro. Same CPU, 8 GB RAM, 250 GB ROM. Ah, I have to check. But first thing, you have to know why you will use your computer. If like 80% of everybody you use for internet, YouTube, Netflix, Maybe work a little, Word, Excel, uh, make a tab like that. And maybe like a little gaming, like a retro gaming. And we will see later little game like you can have in phone, but you can have in computer too. Maybe this one can be the best deal for you and change your old computer by this new one. And now we have to find the best price for you. Okay, in a box of the Geekom, we have the mini computer. Okay, we have something for fix under your screen or under your office, I see like that, you have HDMI cable, and you have a power, 64 watt power, yes, it's better because you will use your computer more than uh, you need, and you need a good power. In our Challenger, we have the computer, the toy computer, is, <laughs> you can see the design is very cheap, but it's okay, we are here for price. We have something for fix, just enough. We have a HDMI cable and we have a power, oh, just 36 watt. It's enough, but uh, you have to care. When we compare our two mini PC, we can see our Geekom is more large, but more slim. The other one is more little, but more big. But you can see the design is very different. In our Geekom, we have a good plastic okay, and metal inside. And other one, we just have plastic and we will see plastic inside. From the front of our Geekom, we have power on off. Okay, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 1. Okay. We have extension port 9 pin. Okay. And we have two jack 3.5 port in and out. In our Challenger, we have a power on off and two USB 3.2. Left and right, like the same. But in our Geekom, we have a casing stone for lock your mini computer because <laughs> maybe you can put your mini computer in your pocket. In the back of our Geekom, we have a display port 1.4. Okay, we have RG45 for internet. We have two USB 2.0. Okay, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 because they are blue. We have HDMI outside again and we have power. In our Challenger, oh, we have two HDMI. No one display port and one HDMI. We just have two HDMI. We have two USB 3.2, not over one, two USB normal one, one RG45, one jack, one power, and same, we have like a Kingston for lock your computer. But I know what you want. You want to see what we have inside, and I want to see too. For open our Geekom, we turn back, we have a four screw. Okay, we open the screw. The first thing we can see, we have a metal one on the back, because the metal is good for hot. And you have a fan inside, okay, and you can see all inside our computer, okay. We have a, the motherboard is Intel Ader Lake N100. The CPU is a Intel Lake 12 generation N140, okay. Our mini computer is Bluetooth 5.1, Wi-Fi 5. And for RAM, you can easy open the RAM and maybe you can change. You have HGB RAM DDR4 3200. You can upgrade easy to 16. You take out, you buy the same 16 you put inside. It's enough. And you also have SSD M2 2280, and you can upgrade easy to one terabyte. You take out, you buy the same, you change. 
in our challenger when we want open in the back, no screw. <laughs> no screw because you have to open in the front and we have a plastic. And when you take out this plastic, you can see inside all is plastic. So the sound say plastic is fantastic. So maybe it's good too. But you can see inside very different because no metal, <laughs> just plastic. Just fantastic. Inside the CPU is the same Intel in Twin Lake N 150. Our computer is also Bluetooth 5.2, but Wi-Fi 6. The RAM is 8 GB RAM and uh, the DDR4 3200 and the PCI for SSD is a 3.0 M2 2280. Okay, 250 GB. I think you can upgrade to. Okay, it's very like the same. Our two mini computers are Windows 11. Pro, okay, no problem. But like you can see, is for 30 euro more cheaper, better? No, 30 euro more cheaper, better. <laughs> we have uh, less power, you have uh, less quality, you have all plastic, you have uh, less uh, connect. So many people write me say, no, my keyboard and my mouse is Bluetooth, uh, we no need. No, you need because you have a dongle. Uh, opposite of this one, yes, for security. You have a dongle, you need plug. So after you plug your keyboard and your mouse, you have a two use already. So this is why it's better to have maybe a little more. So like we say, our mini computer, what you want to do with this one? I go in internet, no problem. I open one, two, three, four, five. And <laughs> with Windows Edge, <laughs> I not use Chrome or Safari, Opera. Okay, I use internet, no problem. You can streaming video, YouTube, of course, you will see me every week and you can also start for netflix so maybe you can also put in your tv for iptv or use for your computer fine you can use for more and more than you expect and also you want word work work with word <laughs> you can download office pack or you can download open office pack of course or like everybody you can use online with office 360 or like me like with google this one is sometimes free <laughs> and you can use online you can share the link and you no need use too much your cpu or computer or memory for me is the best way and the last thing i never thinking about is many people use mini computer for gaming Retro gaming, if you want to use like all Sega, NES of this one, this computer is perfect. Many people will write me and say, no, you just need a P, a Raspberry Pi for this one. But yeah, more you have computer, more you can use. So this one can also do this one and can do better than a cheaper one. But I know, I told you this one, but you say, yeah, but maybe I want play, I want edit picture or maybe edit little video because I no need too much, but I need a little. So we check Cinebench Air 23. And like we can check when we compare all our Geekom, our Geekom Air 12 Live, it's just 1,862 points. Yo, yeah, it's the cheaper one. So it's the first one on the list. Ah, the first one in the dawn. But okay, you can play Windows uh, game, no problem. But I try to play with Asphalt. I download from a uh, Windows Store, you download Asphalt, it's the same like uh, my phone. And like we can see for my mini computer can play very good. So of course, we just play full HD and we not play 240 <laughs> FPS, but it's play, it's play good. And I think you can play with many, many games that you can download in uh, Windows Store. So maybe it's not so bad for play too. For play little game. By the way, me, I use Geekom at home, so I know this brand, I know the quality is better, the warranty is three years, the power is better, the fan inside better, I have a metal for <laughs> help the fan, so is the 30 euro difference can make the difference for the products? It's, if you will use these products every day and you want more safe, <laughs> yeah, maybe 30 euro more is more safe. But remember, <laughs> just for internet, uh, multimedia, working, and little game. If you want more, you can see in my channel, we also try Geekom A5. We also try Geekom A6 up to Geekom GT1 Mega. If you want the best one, all is depend on what you need about your computer. But if like 80% people, you need internet work uh, and play little game, 
like a poker <laughs> or this one. Hey, yes, of course, you no need more. Tell me in comment what is your best computer. Is Geekom Air 12 Lite still the best mini computer under 200 uh, euro? Or is the Challenger for 30 euro less? Like all video, if you like this video, put turn up. If you don't like this video, thumb down. Yes, or like and put here. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel. You click here, you click in the bell. Sorry for my accent, huh? like you can know I'm French, but <laughs> I would like to try to speak English better than put French and translate English with AA. It's not bad, but I have li like a little Indian accent. Or oh, sometimes I have like a little uh, Russian accent. You will tell me which one you prefer. Okay, uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put a comment, and uh, see you soon.